exquisite, phenomenal, pristine, elegant, charming, and breathtaking are just a few words to describe this unique property, according to the listing agent. Today, we're taking a look at a absolutely gargantuan mansion in Evansville, Indiana. Let's take a look at it. Five bed, 11 bath, 33,000 square feet, listed at 8.5 million big ones, baby. Complete with a home gym, stables, multiple outbuildings, a backyard pool, two massive offices, and a lot more. Now, most of the properties we cover on our Zillow Gone Wild quest to find the coolest, strangest, weirdest properties result in just uh, bad properties. Uh, this one's quite the opposite. It's pretty daggum cool. Make me a deal. If you get any value or information out of today's video, hit that like and subscribe button. I post Zillow on wild listings every single week, as well as real estate vlogs and tutorials and just general real estate content across all of my real estate channels. <laughs> real estate. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest, I am a licensed realtor and owner of Voss Properties. Worldwide, you can give me a call, text, or email. My information is everywhere. I don't put it on my main channel, but you can find it if you Google me. Before we go any further, I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor is, yes, again, our favorite free online stock brokerage, Webull. But they're going to pay you in the form of six free stocks as a sign-up bonus for using their free app. All you got to do is click the link in our description, create an account, fund your account with as little as one cent. They're going to give you six free stocks. You can sell by the dip, make more money or cash mount to your bank account because inflation sucks. With that out of the way, let's get back into the video. All right, moving into the front of the property is from first glance, this resembles the White House, except the White House actually comes in at a whopping 55,000 square feet. 55,000. That's insane. That's almost double the size of this property. Anyway, not only is this a mega chonker, but it comes with its own horse ranch. This is a daggum estate. Moving into the foyer is your grand entrance of just opulence. It's just jaw dropping. Double spiral staircases, two story columns with extreme detail and lighting in the ceiling molding. I bet that circle rug in the middle of the room costs more than my car. Also, those floor to ceiling windows probably require an entire bottle of Windex to clean. So let's take another look at the entryway from the second story. And oh my God, here's another view, just gorgeous. This oversized two story open concept is so large that if you fell over the railing and splattered just right, that could kill you. Anyway, moving into the kitchen now, is this just me? Or does this kitchen seem fairly underwhelming for the size and price tag? I mean, the kitchen kind of sucks. I mean, it's a nice kitchen. It's nicer than my kitchen, probably nicer than most of the people watching this video's kitchen. That's no doubt. But you would, I don't know. It reminds me of, I don't know how to explain it. I sold a house for $285,000 a few months ago that had a kitchen that looked identical to this, the $200,000 house. The white with the black countertops just not in right now. Still very nice, still very large, but just kind of underwhelming. That's kind of the theme throughout this tour. It's gonna to be mind boggling rooms and then rooms that are like, well, eh, my house is kind of better than that, you know? Or not my house, my house isn't better than any of this, but you know, uh, never. What are you gonna do? Okay, so moving off to the kitchen and kind of a, another area of it is the kitchen table. Uh, however, it's beautiful and I am a major fan of the natural light pouring into this room and it would just make my soul feel good. It looks spacious yet cozy and elegant yet livable. I would love to eat a $2 McDonald's hash brown at this table. All right, folks, now this is a fucking dining room. Holy hell, this rug has to cost more than my car and my fiance's car combined. Double chandelier, elegant fireplace, custom wallpaper with two lions exposing themselves. Look at the molding on the ceiling. Oh my God. I would call meetings just to feel like a mob boss here and just talk about, you know, last week's football game. I mean, the attention to detail is exquisite. Again, with going from, wow, that's crazy to, whoa, that's reasonable, is the master bedroom. And if you look at it, it's tiny. I mean, it's really, really small and it's surprisingly underwhelming, yet extremely inviting. This looks so cozy with the textured and designed carpet with the big, beautiful fireplace and the oversized crown mold and the ceiling and the beautiful chandelier. 
I mean, it's a big room, no doubt. And that I would bet everything I own that that's a king size bed. And the room is bigger than it really seems, especially compared to, you know, seeing the entryway and the foyer and all that stuff. Uh, it, it just seems livable. I think they did a really good decision here with this house, making it just gorgeous and cozy and livable. And moving into the bathroom, it's kind of the same situation. It's a little bit underwhelming compared to the rest of the property, but that's what's awesome about it. You know, it, the house is a show off when it needs to be and where it should be. But when it comes to functionality, it works. You know, you could have a 2000 square foot bedroom, but that won't feel like home. All right, back to the magic. Holy shit, this is a study. His home office. And I say his for a very specific reason that we'll cover momentarily, but oh my God, this is insane. I have solid wood floors in my house. This is a solid wood room in probably the size of my house. I mean, this is huge. Look at this, you've got a fireplace and you've got chairs and benches and oh my God. Now moving into hers office, which is not quite as special, but it's still a beautiful place to handle your multi-million dollar deals. It's surprising that with only five bedrooms, there are two oversized offices. They could have been the masters, but it would make the room less inviting. I like this layout better. Big ass workspaces and livable living spaces. Now, you know, in a home gym, it's either lined with mirrors or body models or supercars or just motivating things that get your testosterone or whatever women have to get them hyped up. Uh, anyway, this gym does not have that. It is a serene, beautiful mural that doesn't really shift you into that killing machine mindset. Uh, it's pretty, but I don't wanna hit the bag, listen into some gangster murder rap and look at that. Hey, whatever floats your boat. And moving to the backyard, there's nothing really crazy. It's just a bunch of land and stables. Uh, but I figured I'd show you the backyard just because, again, you know, going with the cool home gym back to a pretty tame backyard pool. I mean, the Texas mansion we covered had two full-size saltwater pools, two full-size hot tubs, uh, multiple slides, and a high dive into a 15-foot deep end. And uh, this house is, you know, reasonable. It's usable, it's livable, it feels like a little compound and it's nice, but it's nothing crazy, but I figured I'd just show you anyway. But this has been the massive 33,000, $8.5 million mega junker located in Evansville, Indiana. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hold your end of the deal up, hit that like and subscribe button for more videos just like this. Check out today's video sponsor and I will see you guys in the next video.